Welcome to Quick Safety Tips from Frontline. The National Fire Protection Association, or NFPA, uses its own labeling system to warn first responders of hazardous materials and their risks. These professionals, like firefighters and police officers, are trained how to read an NFPA label quickly during an emergency. But NFPA labels can appear on many types of chemicals and substances, so it's good to know how to read them if you work with hazardous materials often. There are four colors on an NFPA label, red, yellow, blue, and white. Red stands for flammability hazards. Yellow stands for instability hazards. Blue stands for health hazards. And white for other hazards. These four colors make up different quadrants of a triangle and have number value on them. The number values are zero to four, and they represent the threat level for each color category. The higher the number, the more serious the threat. In the blue category, for example, the number zero means that the substance doesn't pose a health risk outside of the ordinary levels of a combustible substance. But if the number is four, that means that the substance may be deadly if spilled or ignited, so you should exercise extreme caution around it. In the red category, a level 4 hazard means that the substance can easily ignite, while a level 0 hazard means you can't ignite the substance. NFPA labels are not required, but they are still very common in areas where emergency responders can easily find them. Make sure that your chemical storage and handling practices align with the information you find on NFPA labels on your equipment or production materials. To learn more about hazard prevention, visit our website at fldata.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel.